Today you will witness a man-eating plant. But first, a man-eating plant. Yeah, right, I didn't say all these intros were going to be good, did I? Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server. With me, I'm risking my life out here of phantoms. I don't know if I've slept in a little while because I need a good night shot. Because last episode, we were there near the moon. We were in space with the piggies making the Snout Scout Pig Space Station. And today, we're going to be taking a break from that. We are going to be going back to that project very, very soon. Do not worry. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit more down to earth. Literally, dirty earth, dirty earthy dirt time, because we are going to be doing some farming related stuff here in the Oval of Life. This place is long overdue for a little bit of renovation. Let me, let me get this stupid dirt out of my hand. Put my hat on. Okay, good. Because this place, yeah, it was very, very temporary. I didn't even know what was going to happen. Then we chucked a big glassy dome on it, and then not much else happened. So uh, we are going to renovate this place. We're going to begin the new farms. I've got a bunch of cool farms in mind. Um, they should hopefully all fit in this place. It should be a pretty cool place to hang out in the end and feel nice and warm, like a real greenhouse. Have you, have you ever been in a real greenhouse? It's lovely. You walk through the door and it's like, ooh, warm. I highly recommend it. It's really rather nice. Anyway, before we can do anything, we must first do one of my favourite things, and that is some destruction. <laughs> On second thoughts, let's just just do it normally. And now it's all clear and fresh, and we've got a nice blank canvas to start working on. Very, very cool. This wall over here has definitely caught my eye, and I think I want I know exactly what the first project I want to make here. And hey, actually, skeleton, you might be giving the game away just a little bit. Oh yeah, I realize I just, I've given it away in the title and thumbnail of the video. I can't have any secrets. You lot know more than me. You're, you're all from the future. I don't even know what's going to happen next. Cow! But you didn't see that coming, though. Yes, we are going to start off uh, with the foundation of farming itself, and that is, of course, bone mill making, which we can do in the composter um, right here. And I've had this little simple setup for a long time now. Hopper in, hopper coming out. You just put things that you want to turn into bone mill up the top there. It feeds it through nice and automatically, builds up here. I've used this thing loads. I've probably had stacks and stacks of bone mill through here in the past. Very, very simple setup. We can literally just move that over there, surely, right? No, wrong. We need to turn this thing into a contraption. Now, it kind of just does it itself, right? You don't really need to do very much. But what you can do, if we borrow this... Oh, yoink. Thank you very much. And we move it over here. And with the power of redstone, we read something from it. Boom. We know... Oh, hang on. Let me get some... Let me get some redstone dust as well. This thing can have eight different signal outputs, right? Zero all the way up to eight. Come back. Thank you. And if we grab something to actually turn into compost, like so, we'll see that... Good! It did a signal of one, of two. Um, things don't always get composted. Look, I was trying then and it didn't do it. It's only gone up to four now. Um, it doesn't do it every time. Different things have different chances of turning into mulch. Um, but when we get right to the very top, it will go to seven now, and then eight when it's ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! Yes, I was correct. Okay, very good. Very, very good. So, why not use this to do something a little bit more visual, a bit more of an indication of exactly how full this is. So, when we chuck a bunch of stuff in this top one, yeah, it'll all go through. Yeah, it'll turn automatically. But we'll get a bit of a... A bit of a... A bit of a... A bit of a fun show along the way as well. And, you know, it's called Bone Meal, right? So that got me thinking about this. <laughs> Big old mouth, right? That's perfect. We can have a ginormous man-eating Venus flytrap type plant thing. It's just like a big hungry plant because honestly, I want this whole greenhouse to look like a big overgrown jungly mess because I don't do gardening. I'm not going to come and prune a flower. I don't prune things. I'm not a pruner. But this place is going to get pretty overgrown, and I want it to look lush and lovely in almost every block around here be some kind of vegetative block. There's that cow still up there. <laughs> so I just thought, yeah, a cool little like eat man eating um, plant thing here. And this can be its chompy chompy mouth. And maybe we can have the composter, composter, the composter, man, that word. It's an imposter in my brain. 
Um, we can have that inside, so you could like tentatively try and try and eh, chuck a little bit of stuff into the composter, composter, and if it does, if it's successful, chomp, 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 it tries to chomp it all up. Um, and maybe we can do something as well with the bone meal when it's done, because we can detect um, every time it's a successful thingy when it makes the um, composter go up by one, and we can also detect when it is at full thingy and it spits out the bone meal too. So uh, yeah, let's try and make this look maybe a little more planty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, I broke all the redstone. Oh, he chomped his own bits off. And there we go. I think that's pretty good. Look at you. Oh, it's really looking mouthy now. Okay, I think the redstone is all working as well. We can give this thing a first proper test feed. Some watermelon. Do you want some watermelon? You kind of look like a watermelon, actually. Oh, I should not be mean about this thing. It could definitely eat me in one gulp. Okay, let's sneak our way up. Put our first bit of water. You want watermelon? Here. Oh, okay. And feed you again. Oh, you didn't chomp that time. You didn't chomp that time. You did chomp that time. Oh, look at that chomp action. How try chomp? Okay, here's the redstone back here. Basically, we've just got a, a comparator. In fact, can we can we sneakily look? Yeah, we got a comparator coming out the back of this into a block, into a dust, and this will update every time. So any time this thing goes to a different signal length, um, all the way th through from zero to eight, it will just send a little update out. We put a repeater there so that it isn't a one tick. Otherwise, uh, these sticky pistons would leave these lamps behind, which we don't want. So we need at least two ticks there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then this just goes to uh, some target blocks to the three bottom pistons and goes up the side here um, to the top three pistons. But we can feed this thing. Oh, how'd you chomp? Okay, maybe do we make the chomping a little bit longer? Because I think we can do that just by extending that repeater. Huh? Chomp, 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 chomp. Why did you do it twice? Oh, because you turned into bone meal. Fantastic, okay. And then we take it out and you do another little chomp as well. <laughs> Brilliant, okay. All right, so we need a way to extract the bone meal automatically so that we're not doing it. Um, and I guess we'll just chuck a hopper on top as well so that we can uh, just chuck things in there and it will just be chomping away in the background. But I think this thing needs a little more decoration. I think we want to uh, vary up the blocks around the edge. We probably want this whole wall section here to be completely overgrown so this thing looks like it's like growing out of the mountain or something. Um, I think that should look pretty good. So uh, let's just do a little spinneroo and let's get this thing worked out. I feel like I'm Wonder Woman or something. Oh, where am I? <laughs> I always get dizzy doing that. There it is. Look at this. It's bursting out the wall. It's been making cracks for all a long time. And now finally, it has come out and blasted. And did I ruin the redstone in doing any of this? Chomp, chomp. No, I didn't. Look at you. You're beautiful. I think we can make you a bit more beautiful. I've decided that this is this is a, a, a girl, by the way. I'm going to call... Hmm, what should we call her? We debt? We debtor? We debtor. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think we can come up with a better name than that. But we debtor, you need to look even more beautiful, yet kind of deadly and scary at the same time. I'm very scared of you. And I think maybe some big old flowers will do. Some big... You know, you're a big old weird, like, bulb head thing. We also need some big old flowers that you got... Two. So I'm thinking like one up here, one down there, but they can't be just like bright, happy colours. We need some kind of dirty, kind of spooky, just off colour shade of things. And I think the nether might be our goal. Now I'm hoping some of this material here would be very, very good for us. It's kind of natural, but at the same time, it's just got that off colour. Who do footsteps? Oh, it's an enderman. Off colour kind of thing that just makes it look a little bit scary. You know, this isn't your everyday happy, beautiful sunflower that's all bright and happy and got a smiley face. This one's a little bit off, so uh, I think we're going to get some of this. And it's equivalent, the red stuff as well. Um, the warp stem, shall I get some of this too? I should have brought a, a hoe with me, shouldn't I? Okay, we'll just do it this way. And yoink, 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 yoink. Grab some of you as well. You might as well yoink everything, right? And back we go to the farm west. Excellent. One flower with the, the blue stuff. The warped hyphae? I've never seen that. That's how that's spelled before. Um, and we've got the crimson bit in the middle. That's a lovely little flower there. And I'm thinking we chuck another one up here. We've got a visitor as well. Um, I think we do the same pattern. A little cross. Just there should be good. Uh, this time we want the crimson stem, if we make the full one around the edge, boom, 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 boom. And we can put uh, the blue one in the middle and then 
and then uh, get rid of the edges up, like so. Look at that! You think it looks good? <laughs> I like that a lot. So we've got the blue around the edge with the red in the middle, and then we've got the red around the edge with the blue in the middle, and I think both of those look pretty darn good little flowers. And this has given me another idea as well. We do need a too high flower farm. Please can you leave, because you're, you're very in the way. Look, go in there. Go explore inside, inside that mouth. You'll be some food. Um, we could pull this block down and have a secret little room back here. Right, okay, so we're just, just gonna go up here. And let's go really tiny, small, cool, 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 in we go, and we, ouch, ow, and in we go, ow, it still nearly tries to kill you, but that's okay, it's a dangerous plant, maybe it's got some kind of like irritating thing on it or something, um, we've got a little button down here, a pressure plate there, that literally just goes into a torch, which goes into this piston, nice and easy, so we can leave if we do it nice and quick, <laughs> yep, it still hurts, <laughs> um, and then all the while we're on this pressure, Wait, I'm on the pressure plate, aren't I? Oh, I, I one tick pulsed it so the, the door stayed there. Basically, yeah, this works very, very nicely. You can get all the way in like so, and you can leave like so as well. See, I didn't even take any damage there, and no one would even know. It's a completely hidden little secret flower. So we've got four different double high flowers with uh, dispensers. Yes, dispensers with bone meal on. Uh, we need to chuck some clocks in as well, and then we can get a fun little uh, flower farm. Nice mini little project hidden away for all to see. Oh, no, for, for none to see. Something really pleasing about this redstone. It's very simple as always, but it does the trick, and I'm quite pleased with it. So uh, we've got four pressure plates here. I should have made them a different color um, because of we've got the, the four flowers. These four here are the double tool flowers in the game. Uh, so we're going to have um, each one of them in front of one of these dispensers filled with bone meal. Uh, but what we've got is a pressure plate. And when you stand on that pressure plate, it makes that piston go up, makes those two observers look into each other, which creates a fun little clock. And I've got the same thing for all four of them. Um, but what I've made sure to ha do is keep each of these redstone bits completely separate from each other. So each one goes separately like that. But we've got a master switch here, doo -doo -doo -doo, which does all four of them. Uh, basically because, yeah, it lights up these bits before the repeaters, which goes through into all four of them. But the repeaters kind of act as like a one-way valve, so this pressure plate doesn't then actually go backwards and trigger any of these other ones. And I think it works pretty well. It's quite simple. It's quite straightforward. We can put our little grass blocks along here, and we can put our flowers, one there. Um, which way should we go? Let's have the pink ones on the edges, like so, and the rose bush in the middle there. Beautiful. Okay. Fantastic. And it's all quite compact. It's all quite nice. We can obviously fill the floor in perfectly. We need to decorate the room up a little bit. Just wanted to show you the redstone before I kind of covered everything up and tried to make it look a, a little bit more pretty than it currently is. All right. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. In we go. How's this? That's quite pretty, right? It's quite quite dirty and, and dusky, but it's quite warm and nice as well at the same time. I really like this. I gave every single layer of ceiling like a, a trim um, of the podzoa by literally making an air block above it so that none of it dies. It goes all the way around and all the little layers here as well. Oh, I didn't do that one. Or that one! Oh, don't look! Don't look that way. But everywhere else has a nice little layer. Um, and I think it works really well. I had to put wooden pressure plates here, which obviously can be triggered with items. Oh, oh no! I put bone meal in as well. Oh, I'm stood on it now. Okay. Oh, stop. Okay, it's hard to make it stop because it wants to just keep going because <laughs> it puts its own items on. But uh, this is quite fun. It's crazy. Oh, now they're never going to turn off. Okay, wait, you have to stand here and catch them all. Oh, no. Please stop. Please stop triggering yourself, please. Oh, okay, they ran out of... They ran out of bone mill. Oh, my goodness. We've got some storage up here. But honestly, I think that's probably it. We can never have to use this farm ever, ever again because we have all the flowers <laughs> we're ever going to need now. I don't know. Okay, right. Let's back our way out of here. A little bit of pain. Ouch. Um, I've also added a few things. We've got the hopper on top. There's a hopper underneath that goes all the way down to here. You can see we've got 21 bone mill now in the thing. Let's grab something to chuck in there. Maybe some more melons or something and we can watch the automated process go. Uh, yeah, let's just grab. Let's grab that. Stack and a half. Pretty good. You hungry? This thing's only ever eaten melon. I really need to feed it something else because it's, it's going to get it's going to get weird. Okay. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. <laughs> that is perfect. We should see, yep, yeah, bone meal is coming in. It's flowing in nicely. We can just leave this doing its thing if we like. 
Um, however, there is one more idea that I've had, and if we quickly go back here down the water, this is my secret entrance into the redstone of this thing. We can see the redstone of the, the bone mill thing as well right there. Um, what I want to do is actually add something else to the end of this that detects whenever this gets to a power level of 8, which is when the bone mill is produced. Boom! Like that, right there. Um, if we add something here, we can actually make this thing give off a little noise, note block or something whenever bone meal is produced. I think that would be quite a nice addition. Oh, and it is when it's this simple. Look, it was literally just like a dust, a torch and a note block. And that is all um, because this thing resets from eight all the way back down to zero again. Um, so this technically goes to zero, uh, but it happens very, very quickly. So I had to extend it out one just so that even when this is zero or one, the torch will come back on and we'll get a note. And I kind of imagine this is like a burp. This goes off every time a piece of um, bone mill is made and put through the system. So uh, maybe maybe we can try it. Maybe we can try I've got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we've got this is level zero. One. Uh, chuck a bunch more in. Two, three, four, five. Uh, let's get it all the way up. Oh, seven. It did it. Did you hear it? I didn't actually hear it. <laughs> but it technically works. We can chuck all of this in and we'll just watch it go. Boom. It's a big, it's, it's not much more of a lower burp than, <laughs> than I wanted. If you've got a better idea of how to make a burp sound effect um, with no blocks or just with anything that I can put here that will make more of a burpy kind of noise, let me know because I'm definitely looking for this thing to be quite burpy. So we've got all this stuff to chuck in as well. Oh my goodness me, the hopper's almost full. Look at it go! We could just walk off and leave it. And we'll know every time we hear a boom that we know that bone meal has been made. So there we go, contraption number 16 in the bag. Let's stick a label on it. That's right, bone appetite. I couldn't not. It is such a perfect name for this thing. It's bone, it's eating, it's bone meal. It's got meal in it. Oh, and bone appetite literally means enjoy your meal. So the contraption is just giving it to us and telling us to enjoy it. It's it's perfect and so many levels. This is very good. Um, we are pretty much done. It's getting very, very overgrown. These vines are going crazy. I've actually had to add some string over here to kind of tame the beast, so to speak. But over here, it's getting a little bit more wild. It's kind of what I want, though. Eventually, this whole place, like I say, is going to look very lush and foresty and overgrown. So maybe it's okay, but we can always come and add more string if we need to. Um, I was worried about lighting, and then I was like, oh yeah, the teeth themselves are literally lighting. Like, it's right there, so it's perfect. It might get a little dark up the top here. Um, that cow, many things have spawned next to that cow that are dangerous. Luckily, they can't get to us because of the glass, but... Still, uh, we'll be fine. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous place, right? We'll, we'll risk it for now. Whilst we turn our attention downwards to the groundwards, because we've got some stuff underneath here, right? If we dig straight down, we go into an aquarium. Look at that. That was exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, and this aquarium is not completely full yet. We've still got a few more layers to go, including this ceiling area. And I kind of want to mix the two together, right? I kind of want like a, a nice river thing going through the, the domey area above that is this water. I want to be able to jump in the river and come and swim down in the aquarium down here. And that's exactly what we're going to try and get doing. And we're going to try and fill this thing all the way up to the brim. We need to get rid of our warts first. I feel like there's a water, water, water joke here somewhere, but I just can't make it. Now, I'm cutting straight down through here, and i got to say, it's really cool and really scary at the same time. <laughs> it's so, like, there's so much visual, visually going on down there that I just can't believe that it's going to feel safe, like, walking along this riverbank at the moment. It's like you're going to fall into this massive, great bottomless pit or something. Oh, no, that's uh, that's the other contraption we built over there, wasn't it? Um, but I'm just going to keep going because I think it's going to look fine in the end. Ravine crack all the way done and through. It's a little bit diagonal along this bit. We'll smooth it out, but for the most part, we can start filling this thing up. A little trick for you, by the way, if you actually put a bucket like this and it pours off over the edge, it will actually fill up the entire area underneath it. This is like a tap, like a faucet or something. So, I mean, you've got to look away a little bit first, but then you just come straight back and look, it's filled up by one more layer. The whole thing is good and we can just do it again. We look away. And we look back, and then, oh no, oh, quick, quick, stop, stop, stop. Oh, that filled up a lot quicker than I was expecting it to, and it's done. See, that was much quicker than going and manually doing it all myself. It's almost like there was some kind of, like, editing magic or something to do it. But no, 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 just the old tap trick. Now, this has exactly the vibe I was hoping for, right? It kind of just looks like a river, but then if you look a little bit closer, and you can also go swimming, 
Suddenly we're down and under. What's going on here? Why is there like a dry bit of ceiling? Oh, there's a hole! <gasps> that's the hole where I went through! Okay, that's weird. If I block that in... Oh, it stops it being dry. Okay, that's cool. We need to still decorate all of these walls. Um, we need to like shape all of this a little bit more naturally. We need to work out what we want under here. I want like dangling plants or something. I'm not entirely sure what we can even have yet, but... Yeah, this aquarium's certainly, uh, certainly making its progress known. I've got a little hole up here as well. Um, a lot of these pools and things might get changed soon, but... Oh, oh, oh I know, I know, I want to see what this thing looks like um, from the actual cave of contraptions now. Looking through the windows, now we can see water all the way through. Uh-oh, uh we must have had a spillage somewhere because my carpets have gone. Okay, but look at that! Oh, you can see all the way through. Oh, the things are growing up higher now than they ever could have before. This is perfect. It actually looks like an aquarium now. Okay, this is really, really cool. But that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Um, I just need to go and step back in here a little bit because, ha, ah, ha, ah, you, you get chompered. <laughs> it is literally a man-eating plant. I told you we'd see one today. Thank you so very much to my wonderful patrons who's made this episode possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And they, each and every one of these people, helped to make this episode possible. And technically helped to make me get eaten right now. So thank you all so very, very much. But until the next episode, a good uh, bye.